Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question of mean cost climbing stairs. So you are given an integer array cost, where cost i is the cost of i step on a staircase. Once you pay the cost, you can either climb one or two steps. You can either start from the step with index 0 or the step with index 1. Return the minimum cost to reach the top of the floor. So let's see the example. So you are given input cost like a 10, 15, 12. Output is 15 because you will start at index 1. Pay 15 and climb two steps to reach the top. So total cost is 15. Yeah, um, that means the last index is not the top of floor. So yeah, this is a very ambiguous description because um, if I take two steps from index 0, we can reach the last index directly. In that case, output should be 10 because 10 is smaller than 15, but output is 15. So that means the top of the floor is out of bounds place here. So be careful, uh, it's very ambiguous <laughs> description. So let me explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so I think there are several ways to solve this question. But in my opinion, the easiest way to solve this question is that I iterate through the input cost from the last to index zero. The reason why I iterate through the um, input cost from the last is that imagine you have a lot of cost in the input array. So in that case, uh, it's tough to decide whether I should take a, a step, one step or two steps from current place because we don't know uh, what number is coming next. So that's why uh, fixing the minimum cost from the last is easy to decide. Okay, so Let's think about like a 10, 15, 12. And uh, first of all, um, as I explained earlier, the top is the out of bound place. So at first, uh, we need to add zero to the last. So this is a top place. So let's think about uh, 20. So if I reach the top, um, definitely uh, we can reach uh, if I take uh, one step. So minimum cost from the index uh, 2 is 20. So how about index 1? So we have two choices, take uh, one step or take uh, two steps. So let's compare the minimum cost. So if I take a one step, so minimum cost should be 15, oops, 15 plus 20. Uh, because uh, if I take a one step, we reach the uh, index two. So from index two, so minimum cost is 20. So that's why uh, if I take a uh, one step from index one, um, minimum cost uh, should be like a 15 plus 20 and uh, how about uh, taking uh, two steps from index one so we can uh, directly reach to the top so minimum cost should be 15 plus zero so compare two numbers and then take a minimum cost so definitely this one 15 so that's why minimum cost from index one should be 15 and then how about the index 0 so again we have two choice take a one step or two steps <laughs> yeah a little bit messy um, so again uh, minimum, compare minimum cost 10 plus 15 versus 10 plus 20 so compare uh, minimum cost. So definitely uh, this this one is a uh, minimum cost. So 25 
So that's why um, from index zero, minimum cost should be 25. Like I take a one step and then take a two steps. Yeah, 25 looks good. So at last, description said we can either start from like an index zero or index one. So that's why we need to compare two numbers like uh, this, like a 25 versus 15 and uh, return the minimum number. So definitely 15 is uh, smaller than 25. So that's why output should be 15. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because I take through all numbers one by one. And the space complexity is actually O1. Uh, I don't use the extra data structure and uh, we use the like an input array itself. So that's why space complexity is um, order of one. So with that being said, let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, add zero to input array. So zero. So that is top, like a 10, 15, 20, zero. And then start looping from the last for taking index in range length of input array minus four because uh, we don't have to care about uh, these last three numbers because uh, uh, we can take uh, two steps so definitely um, we can reach the uh, top like a directory so that's why minimum number should be uh, the number itself like a 20 or 15 so that's why we can start iterating from here like 10 in this case so 10 is like a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so that's why I put minus 4 here and the minus 1 and the minus 1 and the current number plus equal oops plus equal and uh, compare two numbers so mean cost current plus one or cost current plus two and then so compare two numbers like uh, this is a number when when I take a uh, one step and then uh, this is a number when when I take uh, two steps and then uh, compare two numbers and uh, take a minimum number and then uh, add the number to current number then after that um, so return minimum cost like a cost zero or cost one. So description said we can start either like index zero or index one. So at last we need to compare two numbers and take a minimum number as a return value. Yeah, actually that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, uh, looks good. This solution works. So let me summarize the step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of mean cost climbing stairs. Step one, append zero to the input array. Step two, start looping from the last index minus four. Add minimum cost to current value. Step three, compare values of index zero and the index one. And then return minimum value. Actually, that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.